Hey, what's up guys? So today I've got a Ryobi, let's see here, a uh, full crank, two cycle, weed eater. Uh, it's got the adapter on it. It's my buddy's, he was uh, using it and crank, trying to start it up and it just had gasoline shooting out of literally out of the, uh, the muffler. So I'll try to start it now. Most of it's probably dripped off or evaporated off since that time, but I'll go ahead and try to start it now anyways, just following the procedure here. So I think it's, uh, let's see, 10 crank, 10 presses of this, set to full choke, hold both of these down. The pull, nothing. Go to half choke. Yeah. So nothing. Um, gonna get it apart and see what happens here. I know it's all flooded out, and it even feels a little strange. So let's we'll get it apart and see what's going on. I have a feeling it's something to do with the carburetor, but I've never experienced this problem before, so. Let's take it apart and see what happens. Okay, so I got it on the workbench now. I think the first thing I wanna do is just get this cover off of here, just in case, and it'll probably be easier to get this spark plug out as well in that case. But it appears that most of this is gonna be a, let's see here, a, I think it's a Torx, a T20. We'll just start taking it apart. Okay, so I had to grab a tool. It looks like this one right here, this bolt right here, is going to be a Torx 27. And that one's got a nut on the other side. Get that out of there just so I don't lose it. That looks like all of the bolts. Of course, this is not gonna come off because this is in the way. And I believe this is just gonna pull right out of here. Put that off to the side. Okay. I'm oh, missing one screw. There we go. Okay, so that's off. There's your clutch, clutch drum. So go ahead and get this plug off of here. 
Boy, that is really on there. Well, that's part of the problem. I mean, that spring is absolutely just on there. Jeez. Okay. That was really on there. So uh, we've got to repair that real quick. Go back to that in a second. We'll go ahead and get this spark plug out of here. Take a look in here. See what's going on. Now it's been a few days. Yeah, so this is soaking. This spark plug is pretty wet. It's been a few days since I've had this, actually about a week. So what I'm gonna do is uh, hit this boot, some WD-40. That up in there. Slip this through. Pair of pliers on it. Hopefully, be able to grab it up in here. Well, maybe it's a little too slippery. There it is. Pull that wire through a little bit. Clean this off a bit here. And this little guy is going to go right through here. That's in. I'm just going to pull the whole thing back through. Get that back down where it's supposed to be. Clean a little bit of that WD-40 off of there. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of... Uh, Dielectric grease all over this plug. So since I got this out of here, I'm going to check for uh, for spark. So I do see spark, but. This seems to, the flywheel, what is going on here? This seems to not continue to spin freely. Thank you. 
So the cylinder's going up and down. This is not spinning freely with it, so something's going on here. Guys, I'm not sure. When I did get a full spin out of it, I did see spark, but I almost want to say that right here, there is like no gap in between this and this this does feel a little bit loose on here let's see how tight these feel maybe this coil pack moved those feel really tight huh Maybe does this have a broken key inside of it or something? So I'm not exactly sure what the gap is there, or supposed to be. There's supposed to be a gap between this coil pack and this flywheel. I'm a little more familiar with chainsaws, but I think it's... Uh, Maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 thousandths or something like that. Let me go research that real quick and I'll come back and we'll try. It looks, it almost looks like, you can see right here, right up in there, it almost looks like this coil pack has been rubbing against here. All right, so I'm back. I did a quick check online and the consensus seems to be to get a business card in between these two. And I don't know why this is like this, but let's just see here. So one side of this, a business card starts to fit into and the other side's completely tight. So I'm going to loosen these up. See if we can't get ourselves a business card inside of there. So there we go. We got a business card inside of it. That gap. Tighten those back up. Two bolts. Nice and tight. Pull the business card back out. Let's see if I can Something is still wrong with this. It's not. So I, I feel like I. Yeah. Moving. Well.
I just don't feel like I should be able to uh, to to pull on this and hold this flywheel. The piston goes up and down. Yeah, I don't know. I just got to take this off, maybe. So how do I get this off? So you want to make sure that when you put it, I'm going to put a piece of rope in here and see if I can jam it and tap this off. But you want to make sure that when you do that, that your piston is pretty high up in there and probably past the exhaust port. Pretty sure it is right now, but. So yeah, when I do that, this still spins on the shaft. No problem whatsoever. I'm thinking there's a broken key in here or something. So I'm going to have to find some other way to get this off of here. Somehow jam it in place. Hmm. Okay, so I was looking for a socket that would fit onto these bolts. They're little odd shaped bolts, but um, yeah, I've, I've measured them it's about 540 six thousand so it's just shy of uh a 14 millimeter and i have a 14 millimeter it's this style with all the little grooves on it. i'm not sure what that's called and it slips right around it because of the way the bolt is cut so i believe i need a uh a socket like this which i don't have with me so i'm gonna have to pick one of those up from my work tomorrow where i have some other tools and then try to find a way to stop this. Or I don't really have an impact wrench, but stop this since the, the rope doesn't work, since I think this is spinning freely on here. Um, maybe I'm going to jam something into this area right here, like a piece of wood or something like that that it'll, it'll stop on, and hopefully I can get it out of there then. So until then, I'm going to wait.